welcome and thank you for visiting my channel. In this video, I will be sharing with you 12 neutral colors that are a perfect backdrop for your next staging or design project. Are you struggling to find the perfect paint color for staging or designing your home? It is always a challenge to have the right colors in a house when you are getting ready to sell that house or when you're designing. Today I want to share with you 12 perfect paint colors that serve as a neutral backdrop to any home staging or design project. These colors are neutral and allow you to change the decor without having to worry about repainting your walls. We're going to focus in on creating that neutral palette that allows you the most versatility palette that allows you to change your decor if you're wanting to redesign or to stage your property for sale. And if you are staging your property for sale, it allows that potential buyer to come in and not look around and say, oh my gosh, I have to paint the entire house because I hate this color. In case you are new to my channel, my name is Clarice Smith and I am an interior designer and EXP realtor and my passion is empowering you to design your life. I share design and real estate content, giving you the inside knowledge to create beautiful interiors and create the space for the life you want to experience. So many times we go to the paint store and we see that little swatch and we snatch it up and we take it home and we hold it up against the wall or in the light and it's like, it's too yellow, it's too green, it's too pink, it's too purple, it's too something. Even if it's white, who knew? White is a color and it has things to say. The first rule for picking colors that are versatile, either for staging or for design, is to go neutral. This means staying away from colors that lean too cool or too warm. Avoid colors that are just a touch, just a smidge, just a hint to pink, yellow, blue. It's also best to keep the saturation below midtone. Why neutrals? Well, neutrals offer you a wider variety of options when designing, but it also appeals to the masses when you're staging your property for sale. You don't want a color that is too personalized. You want something that is so neutral. Neutral does not mean colorless because you have the whites, the gray, the beiges, the grayges. It doesn't mean it's colorless. It just means it hits that perfect point where it doesn't have an undertone that is overpowering. And that's really the, the key point to neutrals is because you can put any color in that space and it doesn't draw an undertone from that paint color that is unappealing. Another reason you want to stay with a true neutral is because when you choose a paint color that has a distinctive undertone, say yellow, then it will pull out or speak to the other yellows in the space. So if you have woodwork or stone that has a yellow undertone and then you put a paint color on the wall that also has a yellow undertone, you would think, well, this is a perfect match. No, it's going to make the yellow or the oranges in those wood tones and in those stones, it's going to make them more pronounced. You're going to only see those colors. And someone else, especially if you're selling, comes in to look and they're not a lover of yellow. They do not want Yellowstone. They do not want yellowish cabinets or orangish cabinets. So in that case, having neutral is going to pull out the more neutral tones because typically in wood or in stone, if, you, if there is a yellow undertone, you're also going to have some beiges and browns and things like that in that same material. So if you use a neutral paint, it's going to allow those to come to the surface to see rather than only targeting the colors you're trying to avoid. Try to avoid the crayon box effect and that is where you're, even if it's neutrals, don't have a different color in every room. If you're wanting a truly neutral backdrop that will work with whatever decor you put in it that will speak to the masses if you are selling, then pick a neutral and paint the entire space that neutral color. Because a crayon box effect is when you walk in, say, into the foyer and the kitchen is this color and the living room is that color and the dining room is a different color and you can see all these different colors. Or if it's an open concept, maybe you have 
one color on the fireplace wall or you have a different color over on the dining room wall and that is just very jarring. If you are staging your property, that can be a real turnoff for buyers because they perceive, because it may not be their decor choice, they will perceive that it's going to cost a lot of time and effort to paint the house. But if you have a neutral backdrop, even though they may have chosen grayish instead of the gray, or they may have opted for white instead of the beige, it's not offensive in the way that they would avoid it. They can simply say, okay, well, maybe I would have gone gray instead of beige, but it's not bad. I can live with it. It, it, it will work. So it allows there to be less opposition when you're selling your property. If you are designing your house and you have a neutral backdrop, then you're able to move furnishings around with less concern about what wall it goes against as far as color goes. Also, a cohesive paint, a cohesive floor covering, it also ex visually expands the space and makes it feel larger. When choosing the color for your walls, even if it is a neutral color, you need to consider the surrounding materials. Are they painted? Are they stained? Are they stone? What are the colors in them? Just because you have neutral walls does not mean that your space is without color because everything in it, your furniture, your fireplace wall, your hearth, your ceiling, your trim, your doors, your hardware, everything has color. And if you're going to do a paint color throughout the space, it is best to get your samples and then compare it or match it up, the one that works best with all of these different elements. So it's not just a matter of, I like this one better than I like that one. It's a matter of what will work best overall with all of the different finishes in your space. It would mean so much to me if you would subscribe and become part of our community of powerful people. The 12 paints are white. The 12 paints are divided into four different categories. And each category has three paints. The colors include white, white that reads beige, grayish, and gray. And the colors are white, ultra pure white, decorator white, white on white, white that reads beige. Soji white, alabaster, meeting house white, grayish, grayish, silent smoke, dusky dawn, gray, light French gray, silver cloud, gray whisper. I hope you found these suggestions of the 12 colors helpful and if you happen to have one of these colors in your space let me know which one and why did you choose it. Be sure and share below any real estate or design topics that you would like to see a video on. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.